All right, so what I'd like to do today is to kind of mix things up a little bit. One of my favorite things to do is photography, but everybody's stuck at home. So um, I was thinking um, something pretty cool I came across was uh, some macro photography. Um, whether you use your phone, your DSLR, mirrorless camera, it doesn't matter. Um, there's so many different ways to go about doing it, but there's something really cool I found uh, online um, that makes the experience a little bit more fun. Now what I'm going to be using today is going to be um, a kit camera, a Canon T5i with the Canon kit lens, the 18-55. to And I'm just going to zoom in as close as I can and focus on an object. And I'll show you the wide angle of the object so you know what it is. Um, and then you're going to see what the image looks like. And then after that is where the magic is going to happen. So what I've got is the macro reverse ring for an EOS camera, 58mm. Uh, and what that means is the threaded opening on the front end of your lens. Every lens will say that on the inside of it because that's usually where you thread on your uh, filters, a polar filter or an ND filter or uh, something like that. But basically what you do is you thread this ring onto the front of your lens like this. And then without pointing your camera into the sunlight, you take your lens off of the camera body, flip it around, line up the red dots on the ring and the camera body, and put it back on. And now, you can see the front, the back element now becomes the front element. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to point that at a variety of different plants and a rock, um, maybe a piece of fruit or something like that, and we're going to see what that looks like. I'm going to turn my camera on and I prefer to use my viewfinder so what I'm going to do is zoom in and out and see how close you actually have to get to the item you're going to be taking the picture of. I'm going to zoom in on this take a picture and then you're going to see what it looks like. So if you're going to use your phone, you just want to get up as close as you possibly can, zoom in on your phone as close as you possibly can, and then move your phone in and out until you get the image in focus. At that point, that's when you take the picture. It's easy as that. One of the important things you're going to want to remember to do, if you're going to be using or buying one of these rings, again, they're really affordable, six or seven dollars, I think I paid on Amazon for it, uh, is that once you flip this around, you then have to be able to use this camera in manual mode because you've lost the ability to have those electronic connections that are on the outside of your lens to make contact with your body and therefore you have to manually adjust your aperture and your focal points. There is that unfortunate part of it but it is kind of cool the results that you're going to get. Now let's say you have a DSLR but you didn't buy the ring yet and you don't have it because we're just talking about it now, you can just take your lens off of your body, flip it around and gently place it up against the area on the front of your uh, camera body and get the same results. Um, it's a little more difficult because now you got to really use two hands and, and have your camera setting set right, but you can accomplish the same thing without even buying the macro ring itself. So give it a try. Week. So I'm going to create a photo challenge. It's going to be called Webs Photo Challenge. Um, this one's going to be macro. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do this at least once a week. So um, what I'd like everybody to do is if you get a picture of this, pick your favorite picture and you're going to go onto Instagram and you're going to put in your description hashtag Webs Photo Challenge macro and this image will come up for me when I see that. So I'll be able to see everybody's posts. Um, might be something fun to do, try out different things. I'll show you some examples of different things that I've done. 
and uh, not the greatest. One thing you also want to pay attention to is your lighting. Um, if you're taking them indoors, it can be a little bit tough when you're doing these. Uh, you really have to make sure that you're using either a phone light or some additional lighting in order to make the image look a certain way. Um, I didn't do that with some of mine and they didn't look so great, but I'll post some of those images just so that you can see the difference between them. Taking your pictures outside tends to give a better result as well, so um, find some cool stuff. Take pictures.